What's up everyone, it's your boy Nolan Rad 89 here bringing you another video and today's video is going to be a rad movie review. I know it's been kind of a while since I've done a rad movie review, but to be honest, I've kind of recently been on the television train. I've been re-watching a lot of animes and I've been just watching a lot of television shows to be honest. So, but I finally got a chance to check out Late Night with the Devil. This is currently streaming on Shudder. That's where you can check this out and today you're going to hear my positives, the negatives, the rating, and then I'm going to send you all home. So let's do this. Roll it. So Late Night with the Devil is a new found footage horror film that is currently streaming on Shudder. This one follows Jack Delroy, who is kind of like a Johnny Carson type character, you know what I mean? He hosts a late night talk show in the 70s and he's the main kind of second competition but is never really on top, never really reaches that number one spot in television. And on a Halloween night one night, he plans a very spooky show and it turns out pretty wild. So today, like I said, let's get into talking about Late Night with the Devil. This is one that I was definitely anticipating based on the fact the trailer is fantastic. We have a great actor in here, David Desmelchian, which actually actually is the lead actor, which I think this is one of the first times that we've ever seen him as the main focus. He plays Jack Delroy, and for me, this film just did everything I really wanted. Like, in terms of, like, a movie that kind of fits the hype that and like and I know a lot of people say it like oh they hype it up a lot and all this kind of things but I was I was waiting to see this movie and a lot of people just kept telling me really good things and really good things and so far as it stands right now for my money this is my favorite film of the year so far and just let's get right into the positives right away is that I think the cast across the board not just David himself as Jack Delroy the whole entire cast really make this movie of course there's other great elements but I think the cast is full on believable every member jack delroy lily the character that they bring on who's the possessed young girl like every one of them the the skeptical psychic that comes in who's playing you know the skeptic who thinks none of it's real who's trying to poke holes in everybody's stuff like really all of the characters are very believable and i had a really fun time with every single one of them Another huge positive is this film is just dripping in 70s aesthetic. This film, you can tell, it oozes the 70s. It has a certain vibe about it, and I think they really captured that on screen with the way the filming looks, the way they decided to shoot it. Like I said, this is a found footage film, but they shoot it like it's the late night talk show, like you're watching the episode. Like They sat us down, and they were like, all right, let's watch this footage. And you also get to see behind the scenes footage, which is kind of cool because they do a black and white switch on you, so it really does to make the tones very distinct and different so you kind of know what you're getting into and what points and what information you're getting at what times and all that kind of stuff and Jack is obviously more you know theatrical and everything like that when he's on set in front of the camera in front of the audience than he is when he's behind the set behind the stage you know talking to his producer and everything like that so I think really the blending of the tones the way they handled the characters in that 70s aesthetic really a fantastic film along with our great cast and the fantastic fantastic aesthetic of this film. I think the pace of it is really good. This is a film that once you get started, it's kind of grabs a hold of you right away and it doesn't really let go because I said it has that neck break pace to it. And yes, we do get kind of similar commercial breaks. Like while, while it's a commercial break for the television audience, you're getting to see that backstage footage. But I still think the pace of this film is very good. At no point was I bored. I already watched this film twice already. So that's how much you can tell I like this film. And I wanted to kind of affirm my feelings on it and make sure that I wasn't kind of recency biased or just that hyper excitement from the first watch or anything like that. So I did watch this film twice and for me it landed both times. I also like our special effects and our gore effects and stuff like that. It's definitely one thing I can say is maybe a soft core negative is more of a personal taste thing as I wish there was more gore. I wish there was more insane macabre stuff going on but it definitely has gore stuff in it and cool special effects and especially very awesome kind of VHS looking television effects. You know what I mean? Like old school effects, but glitches and it looks really cool, you know, and it's like static and then the way it happens, like I don't want to like spoil anything, but it does look really cool. Like I said, VHS kind of style when we get into the latter half in that third act. But yeah, in terms of maybe a soft core negative, that's maybe a mixed or negative would be the fact that I do wish that they went kind of more macabre, more insane 
with that third act. But I overall like our, in terms of positive, our ambiguous ending. We do get a third act and like everything, but the ending is very kind of leave it up to the audience. You know what I mean? You kind of make your own decision. It does have it, but it's like, like I said, my only soft core negative would be that I wanted some more insane stuff going on. And we probably could have got more lore to Jack Delroy. And that's another one. It's like when you watch the film, I can't really spoil it or talk about it too much, but we could have got maybe some more lore about a certain time in Jack's life. That's the best way to describe it. So yeah, there's just a couple nitpicky negatives, nothing really huge, like nothing that's like, oh, I'm screaming like, oh, I hated this part. There's nothing like that. So overall in my book, like I said, for a rad rating, this film is going to be pretty strong. Like I said, as it stands right now, this is my favorite film that I've seen so far of this year <clears throat> and probably one of my favorite found footage films that I've ever seen. And so I'm going to give this film a strong 8.5 out of 10. It could climb up to a 9. This could be one of those films that after a third or a fourth watch, like I'm actually going to watch this film a third time because I'm going to show my daughters and stuff. So I will be watching it a third time. So this definitely easily could be one of those films that climbs up to like a 9 out of 10. But right now it's a strong 8.5 out of 10 and like said so far right now like my favorite film of this year i believe so thanks for sticking around y'all as we chatted late night with the devil like ah oh, this one like i said i highly recommend this one for horror fans out there you really need to go check this film out and especially if you are into films like this and you have fun with this film and you haven't seen it yet i recommend ghost watch that's another fantastic film that is a very similar premise that came out i believe this one ghost watch came out in the early 90s or something like that but that is another amazing found footage film that follows the kind of a similar premise as late night with the devil so they're both really great films and they're currently like i said streaming on shutter so there's no reason why you horror fans out there shouldn't be watching these films but thanks for sticking around with me y'all and please like the video that definitely helps out the channel subscribe if you're new to the channel and have that notification bell poked so you're notified anytime i post a video but most importantly i want y'all to have a safe and happy day peace out